just a moment to boost out a little bit and then I'll get going. Okay, while I'm waiting for things to filter in here a little bit, I wanted to point out a couple of things about this mod. Uh, well, it's not a mod, it's a fan game, but a couple of things that I'm already intrigued about and interested in. Um, down in the bottom right corner, you can see a button input um, that just kind of lets you know what buttons I'm hitting and whatnot, and that is just built into the game. I'm going to turn that on just for giggles so that I can kind of, you know, go back and look and see what my button inputs tend to look like for this. Um, but I think it's just cool in general that it um, included that to begin with. Um, apparently there's like a, a two-player mode or something like that. I haven't really, like, checked a lot of this stuff out yet because, um, as I mentioned in my comment... This is literally, like, I learned about this today. Uh, there's, like, a couple of other different things that you can modify on here. Um, what color Mega Man looks like. Um, whether you're uh, picking up items will do, like, the traditional Mega Man fill sound effect and animation. Or if it's just instantaneous. Um, there's, like, a couple of other things in here. So I just wanted to point that out just momentarily while buying some time for just people to filter in and whatnot. Um, before I go back to the part where all the music's playing and everything, I just wanted to go ahead and say uh, Nico Evaluates is the person who made me aware of this fan game. I popped a link into the comment of this video, so go check that channel out if you want to see some more Mega Man related stuff, or just stick here. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and get started with this, so here we go. I know nothing about this game. Like I said, I just learned about this a few hours ago. So we have like a file select here. This reminds me of like Mega Man 9 and 10, so pretty nice that they chose that. I'm making an effort to actually listen to the music of this because that is something I always say I'm going to do, but then don't. Which the stage select theme sounds pretty good so far. Of the robot masters on here, the one thing I have to point out already is Creamery Man. I understand, like, you know, fan games gotta come up with some unique different things that aren't, like, your usual edgy shit, but... I've got my eye on you, Creamery Man. You're either going to blow this out of the water and be really, really good, or you're gonna be as silly as you seem. But I'm gonna start out with this edgy Sonic OC-looking character, Sickle Woman. Kinda looks like a cross between, like, a, like, Sonic, like a Mecha Sonic, and, uh, Cut Man. So usually they do the um, kind of transition and they have the uh, bar horizontal on the Robot Master selection. This time they have it vertical. You've got your standard fare, you've got your lemons, you've got your charge shots. Uh, Mega Man moves a little bit slower than I'm more like kind of accustomed to. I don't know if that's just because I've been playing like the 16-bit games a lot recently, but he just feels like he's moving a little bit slower. Yeah, like, the, the music, at least in this stage so far, has been pretty nice. Like, it seems fitting, it seems appropriate. Um, just in general, it seems like a decent overall track. This is about as far as I played into this to test it. So I already know a couple things here. These platforms will fall if I stay on them for too long, so that is why I'm constantly hopping on them. I 
was having some trouble with that during practice. I should probably let these enemies stay on the screen to see what sort of attacks they do, but... That's fine. they were going to do like a fourth one of those. Can I go left here? No. I don't even... Uh, can I hit that? Oh, that would have been cool. Swing it around a lot more. Oh, that just feels... that has to be a death trap, like... There's no way that that is not a death trap. The hell is this? What the? Oh. Okay, I guess I just have a thing that teleports me upwards. I might come back to this stage and see if that's a secret, but I'll probably forget about it by then. Like any good mod, uh, they have it set so that whenever you um, charge for a certain period of time, the charge sound goes away so you don't get too annoyed by it, so that's good. Hey, how's it going? I'm hopefully playing an actually decent game for once. Jury's still out. I haven't, like, played this but just for a few seconds, but hopefully this will be a good one. Seems like those platforms don't have a, like, just like a constant timer on them, and you can basically linger as long as you want, so long as you jump before it's time for them to fall, so that's good to know. I wonder if I'm going to see those platforms in the later levels. Alright, let's see how Cutman's sister does. Oh god, that, that fill-up sound effect was rough. That was loud. Pop. Shoot. This one's probably going to be a slash slash. Alright. Looks like we have one of two patterns. Either the triple shot or the slashy slashy. Oh, and we've got a what looked like a super attack of some sort. Oh, that's just the, uh... That is literally the, uh... The Cutman weapon. Okay, this definitely seems like first boss material, so... Not bad for first boss, though. I might need to turn the volume back up on the music, because it just seems like it's a little bit quieter than it should be. And I almost did this one damageless. There we go. Oh, nice. The Mega Man 2 intro theme as the victory for beating a robot master. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Like, definitely like a nice start to this and like until I learned the pattern it was really um, you know kind of hectic trying to remember everything so that was good oh now we have a static effect okay I'm going to go to the menu really quickly and try to turn the music up just a smidge because um, 
That's just kind of driving me a little bit crazy that's that quiet. So let's try putting it at 50 and see what happens. That should be a little bit better. Thank goodness our game saved. Okay, so let's, let's put our heads together here and figure out what sickle would go good against. I hate to say it, but I'm kind of going towards Creamery Man, because, like... Ah, oh, no, that doesn't make sense. I was thinking of something completely different there. I was kind of thinking of, like, how you cut taffy and stuff like that, but that's not quite a Creamery. Let's try Spiral Man. Kind of looks like a dog. Oh, more like a bull, or a ram, or something like that. Ooh, I like that music already. Cool background, too. I just noticed the parallax scrolling going on there. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, those things are a little bit annoying. I need to make an effort to try out my new weapon, too. What's this going on here? Can I... Okay, I see. This seems like a good room to try out my weapon. Ooh, I can aim it! Nice. What the fuck is that thing? I guess we'll never know. Okay, I definitely like that as a, as like a rush coil wannabe. Okay, let's, let's try to use this. There we go. A little bit less, or a little bit easier to use then. Okay. Oh shit, okay. I'm gonna have to get used to dealing with these. There we go. Just had to time it right. Oh boy, I see. I see what's going on here. Let's see if these things can hit this. Okay, they cannot. That's probably a relief. Game gives you energy balancer right from the get-go. I will always appreciate that. Hmm. Why would there be an empty spot up there? Guess we'll never know. I knew exactly what was going to go on there. Oh, good, those are infinitely spawning. That's good to know. At least they, like, move slow enough and kind of appear before you really have to worry about it, so that's a little bit better than usual. God, like, every time I reach a room like this, I'm having this thing where I'm thinking, that's gotta be... Like, that, that has to be a secret down there. Really don't want to risk it, though. Okay. Damn it. Didn't quite have the jump on that. That's fine, we got it there. Like, honestly, like, the only complaint that I have about, like, the designs of this level and whatnot so far is I don't really see what this has to do with spirals. That just seemed a little bit easier to do. Haha! -ha. 
found a secret. Oh god, this is gonna be annoying. I have to let myself slide out. Okay, there we go, we're good. I wasn't sure if it was gonna give me a platform or not. Yeah, and if the Robot Master were kind of done in the format of a Gurren Lagann robot, that would make sense, but it's a like it's like a ram. Okay, I see what I must do. But I must do it better. I must do it much better. Oh god. That was a little bit of a stress trap there. A little panic attack room. Okay, that's what that ceiling is. That was a close one. Okay, so we get to this room now. Uh oh, did that too soon. I figure it's better to take the damage from that thing than to... than to hit the spikes. That is a cool ability. Like, that is a really cool implementation of the rush coil. Ooh, are we gonna enter a boss door from the left? Alright, let's try to, uh... We'll use one of our sickle to see if that's the weakness. If not, then we're going to go into pattern recognition. Okay, definitely the weakness. Okay, he's pushing me back with that. center again. Push us out to the edge. Just don't be near the walls. wonder if there's like different patterns he can do for that or... Well, it wouldn't be a Mega Man game if I didn't have a really clutch fight where I can only take one more hit. That honestly seems simpler than Sickle Woman. He only really had, like, the same, like, two patterns that time as opposed to, um, Sickle Woman who had, like, three variations. Data Spiral. I wonder if that's going to be a shield, and I wonder if it does like a little knockback effect or something. Only one way to find out. Okay, so... Data Spiral. What would that translate to as a weakness? I'm kind of thinking Sugaku Woman, because that kind of makes me think of like a... Sort of like a 
collegiate hat. I don't know what Sugaku means, but... That's where I'm gonna go with it. I'm curious about Creamery Man. God, if that's- if that is the reason, I'm so happy. I don't even know what I killed there, I should- Oh, hey, it's the, um... I can't remember their names. Brain Breaks? Sniper Joes have the Night Chain ability now. Okay, yeah, they still get angry if you... If you shoot them. Charge Shot does them in one hit, um... But still. What does Data Spiral do? Oh god! That was a bad idea. Okay, so that's like a screen clear is what that is. It was also not a good idea to use that on a moving platform, so that's good to know. Oh, that was just like a regular Met, too, like... Hmm. That wasn't like one of the cool, like sword slashy ones that I saw from the earlier levels. That's good to know. Aha, so this whole entire level's gimmick is about using those platforms. Oh yeah, that's right. The the slash weapon there, the sickle, is not gonna go through walls. Oh, but it absolutely decimated that poor Sniper Joe. I'm gonna call that a Saw Joe. That is a shortcut up there. I'm just 100% calling that. I knew it! That was a little bit scary. That's a boss killer. I heard those multi-hits. Next time I fight one of those, if I fight another in this level, I'm gonna have to give that a shot. Ooh, this is a Mega Man 10 mechanic. Uh-oh. Oh god. It moves very aggressively. supposed to be a way that I get up there? Like, I know I can use my teleport ability, but I guess I have to. Okay, that goes through shields as well. That's good to know. And, a. Uh, a ceiling gate? Oh, goodness. I didn't even get to see what the weakness was on that one. That was just a really easy robot master. I 
I think that's gonna be something that's always gonna be really hard in a fan game to really, like, determine, because... Like, especially for me, like... I consider myself, like, middle of the road whenever it comes to, um, like, being skilled at Mega Man games, and it's comp- like, that boss was competently put together, and, like, the pattern was obviously you want to bait out the shots because they're always going to be delayed from whenever, um, she shot them, but that felt really easy. Okay, Parabolic Charge. That's obviously got to go to Creamery Man, because we got a parabolic charge to the ice cream store. I can't not look at this any longer. That is an ice cream robot. That is exactly what I wanted that to be. Well, open left side, nothing. I like the ice cream truck in the background. I'm also digging this, um, this ice cream related, um, theme song so far. Really good, um, color design on this level. Okay, I need to be careful about using that. Let's try what this does. Oh, I can hold that. Can I aim this straight up? Nope. It's just... it's just angled attacks. Oh, that has a lot of energy that I can use with it, too. Wait, does that...? Ooh, that refills my health whenever I do that, but now I have a choice to make. Go up or go down. That's neat, but is it practical? Oh, I saw what that thing was throwing. Ice cream. I wonder what that does. Okay, it, it freezes me and it does damage. Okay, good to know. Ooh, getting hit on the ground with it is double bad. It, it can hit me twice that way. I can't 100% speak, speak as to whether or not it's practical, but at the very least, like, having the um, arc on there and the low ammo count really does lend to it being like a tactical kind of weapon. I don't know how I was supposed to make that jump otherwise, so I just kind of did the damage boost through there. Uh-oh, let's get out the boss killer. Okay, yeah, Sickle, sickle Blade is definitely carrying its weight in this. Cutman and your sister, you did a good job. Why do I feel like those can break? Probably not with anything that I have, but okay. Okay, that's, that is definitely ice physics, so... If you're ever playing a Mega Man game and you're having trouble with ice physics and, like, the inertia it takes to get started running, a good professional tip is to just jump into the air and then, like, get moving in the direction you want to go and then there's no build-up to it. Another from-the-left boss door? 
What's going on here? Okay, we've got to see if this is Creamery Man's weakness. Nope. Oh yeah, that's the weakness right there. Or is it just... I uh, don't know. It was working, though. Of all the robot masters, I did not get a single pattern out of him just because I was, like, having too much fun using the parabolic charge weapon. Uh, the, the floor was definitely a little bit hard to navigate on there, so I don't know... Like... I'm glad I didn't do that robot master first. Soft serve seeker. All right. I think chimeras are weak against ice cream, right? But before we do that, let's go to the shop because I've got a lot of bolts saved up at this point. Allows you to carry your slide momentum when jumping. Ooh, that sounds really good. Lower the amount of weapon energy that's consumed when using weapons. Oh, that's also good though. Fire a rocket from your buster. God, stop giving me so many options. I mean, you're not wrong. That is a really good boss. Oh, man. Which of these do I want? Let's save the slip booster for a little bit later. And energy saver I'm doing okay on right now. I want to try the rocket buster. Is this shop theme? This shop theme is the Mega Man 8 stage select theme, just slightly remixed. Good, good hit on that. Alright, let's go kill a Chimera. So how do I equip this, then? Oh, it's just a weapon now. I literally just have a dive missile now. Is it infinite? Holy shit. Ooh, careful there. Oh my goodness, this is... Usually I make it a point to not use, like, overly broken things, but, like... It's gonna be hard not to use this, like... Okay, that is the whale body from Mega Man 4. Oh, I wanted to go up there, but... Can I get back up? I didn't think I could. These missiles, though... Ah, that's a met, is what that was. Ooh, that looks... Okay, I'm, I'm not a person who tends to use, like, a lot of the weapons in Mega Man games, but... These are really good calls on the weapon selection, because right there was just an example of how much more powerful the Rocket Buster is, as opposed to the Mega Buster. Are we at the boss already? Another left-facing door? Let's see what the Rocket Buster does against bosses, then. And then I'm, I need to try out the Soft Serve Seeker. Best weapon, best weapon, best weapon. 
Best weapon. Best weapon. I want to watch this thing sink. Oh, that is... That is the weakness. Okay, I've got to try something. I've got to try the Rocket Buster. Okay, actually, you know what? Good on them. Rocket Buster is not effective against bosses. Oh, is this going to be the shield weapon? I think I did see that. I, I wonder, like, what else it reverted into. Like, I'm curious what other parts they used to make that. I didn't know that boss was gonna fly, but nice. Amalgam Inferno. I'm actually gonna dive back into that level because I want to see if there is a secret if you beat that first well and don't jump down immediately. That'll also give me an excuse to try out the new weapon. Man, this is a good selection of weapons so far. A screen clear that actually is effective against most regular enemies? I tried to charge this weapon up, no avail there. careful now, so... Haha, I knew it! I knew there was a secret over here. Ooh, nice secret. Worth it. There wasn't any other secrets in here, right? It was just that one. Uh, let's go to the exit stage. Or, yeah, there we go. Exit. Oh, okay, it gives you a prompt for it as well. Whoops, I didn't want to go all the way back. Wanted to go to the shop, not the menu. Okay, not enough to get those, but I've got the Pierce Buster. Uh, but I want to save up, like, I'm getting really close to what'll be, like, the Wily levels of this. Kind of want to get either the Energy Saver or that Slip Booster, because that right there emulates a thing in a game that I was going to play before this came out. Let's just wait. Alright, uh, cameraman, uh, I imagine the Amalgam Flame is going to be Traction Woman's weakness. If not, we should have her weakness. She kind of reminds me of, like, a VCR. Mets that turn into race cars? That's cool. A four-wheeler sniper Joe. I'm gonna not use those because, like, that is just, like, game-breakingly good. Oh, wow. Okay, there's glue on there. That's why. I was wondering... I'm Traction Woman, so... Makes sense. Oh, it even has a freezing effect on it as well! I wonder if I can use them as platforms that way. Okay, yeah, I figured that was the case. Okay, 
Okay, that is a little bit harder to aim. Directly beneath me. There's like an initial hit that it does, and that kind of throws me off. Nope, they still have a hitbox. Okay, so the, the Data Spiral does have a, um, it has like a range to it to where it's effective. So it's not quite a screen clear. Oh, hey, this is the, um, this is the boss from, um, uh, from Mega Man 11, I think. I don't know why I'm using that. That's not going to be useful against it. Oh my god, do I get to ride an ATV? Oh my god, I get to ride an ATV. Oh my god, that's amazing. Can I use any weapons? Nope. I have no words for this. This is just great. I'll definitely say this right now while I'm just, like, absolutely tearing ass through this part. Like, this definitely isn't the hardest fan game that I've played before, and that's honestly not really a problem. Not all fan games have to be hard. It's been fun as hell so far, I'll tell you that much. Alright. Oh man, a boss gate on the right, what is this, any other Mega Man game? She's like Turbo Man 2.0. Okay, I didn't realize that weapon had a short range. Oh, that is not the weakness of her. What could it be then? Okay, not the soft serve seekers. I'll try Data Spiral, but I don't think that's it. If it is, it's going to be unfortunate because I'm almost out of ammo with it. Oh yeah, that's the one. Alright. I'm going to have to just Charge Buster her down. She's like a mixture between Wheel Man and Turbo Man. Or Nitro Man is the, the one I was wanting for that. Uh, Nitro Man is the one that has the Wheel Cutter ability that you get from him. And he kind of tosses them at little kind of awkward timings like that. Just give me the ability to transform into an ATV. Just, just give me that, please. Spin Drift. Please be that. What the f Let's go to the shop first. I don't know what the story is in this one, so I don't know, like, what the deal with this person is. I want to go back to... Spiral Man's... No, Sickle Woman's stage and check something out. That looks like Sheep Man. That's what I was thinking. Okay, I've got to see what the spin drift is. Oh my god, is that better top spin? You can fire whenever you're in the air with it. And then you just literally spin and create fire. 
Not very good against those Mets. It is a ground-based weapon, so that's kind of unfortunate. It seems okay. I think the problem is, is it's kind of getting overshadowed by all of the other... Don't mind if I do. Aw, oh, that one's went over an edge. Oh, it's not giving me the multi-hit anymore. Oh, okay, I see. I have to hit them with the melee version of it. That's where the boss kill comes in. That's a really cool, like, double application of a weapon. Yeah, it's not quite top spin because it doesn't really let you do anything on the um, in the air. But yeah, it's like a charge, a charge kick that's not complete ass. Okay, is this just a death pit? Yeah, I figured. Okay, I'm just gonna get a game over here just so that I can reset my life before going and fighting Sheep Man? Question mark. I'm gonna try to collect some bolts as I go, though. Is that the boss gate right over there, or no? No, I'm not quite near a boss gate yet. I can't remember if there's any more bolts just laying in this, um... in this area. Let's get rid of the last life quickly. Let me just kill this. How many bolts do I have? Nice. Just enough. I'm gonna get the energy saver because that's going to let me... It's going to let me conserve a lot more energy. Alright, here we go. Sheep man question mark? That is bad guy. That is Billie Eilish's bad guy made into a Mega Man Wily stage style intro theme. A little bit of inspiration from... I think that was Mega Man 10 that showed those? Or was it Mega Man 9? Okay, let's see if we can conserve some of our energy here. Okay, yeah, there we go. Nice Wily themed um, music so far. That's tricky. Where there it is. Completely forgot about my rocket boosters. Oh, Hornet Man. Hornet and Jewel Man. that one. Not that one either. 
And that music is from Mega Man 2. That is the boss theme from... from Mega Man 2 on the Game Boy. Oh yeah, that was the one. I just had to wait for the Jewel Satellite to finish. a little bit of the the dock robots um, from those combination bots. The thing that I like about the parabolic charge is I can use that just as a way to very easily replenish my health. my teleport charge. There we go. Whew! That was close. That was a bad move. I should have just went down and charged. I like the fact that this weapon is basically nearly infinite. Strike Man and Nitro Man. Oh, that is a weird design. Oh man, rebound strikers with will cutters? Holy shit, nice. Oops. It is kind of weird that the teleport ability there isn't at the, like, front or the back of the list. It's, like, right there in the middle. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Oh. The, they broke the tradition. That is unforgivable. Oh, man, I really want to go that left way, though. Well, we're gonna have to do the level again, it looks like. here was the dragon's breath. I just had to wait for that jewel satellite to go down first, so let's just see if we can get that to happen. Ooh, 
that shield is big. killing. I guess it's more of a regular enemy's killer than it is a boss killer. Whew. Can I just skip this all together and just go... Oh god. If I jump better, then I can. Okay, and then this was the soft serve seeker. That almost ended poorly. see what we can do about this now. Oh man, I was too far on the... I, I just need to go to the right side. I'm wasting so many lives just trying to do that, and it is not working. All that for an E-Tank, too? Blech. Okay, I'm glad I made the hard call on that, because that would have made me extra upset if I would have made it here with no lives left. Oh, man. Uh, I bet this is Slicer. It has to be. Who is that second one that it is, though? Okay, it wasn't that. Okay, it doesn't appear to be that weapon. It's hard to tell because... Was it that one? No. So I have one life left. Uh, Data Spiral was doing something. Spindrift was working? Okay. I don't know if you could tell, but was it doing a significant amount of damage, or... Data Spiral seems like it was doing okay damage. Yeah, I, I can't hit while while it's in that spin state. God, which robot is that? Like a di like a new and unique robot master? That, I wonder if I had to hit with the flames on that. No, that is doing nothing at all.
So it's either the spiral. Haven't tried the sickle really. The sickle works at least through that. I need to use an E-Tank. I don't want to do this level again. Okay. Data Spiral does not work while in spin state. What else is there to try? I haven't tried the fire move. Oh man, I'm gonna use all my E-Tanks here. This is bad. I guess I could have went to the Parabola charge and just start spamming the hell out of that. It doesn't cost a lot of ammo to use that either. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, this is a fan made game. This was, um, I, I figured out about this game today, so I wanted to just go ahead and jump on, and try to get as blind of a playthrough as I could. That's been pretty good so far. Uh, really good weapon selection, good music, great music, honestly. Um, overall, cannot complain. Get ye olde boss killer slice out here. Another ATV section. All right. I don't like that I don't get to use my weapons while I'm on the ATV, aside from the one that they give you, but... It's still cool to see a section like that nonetheless. All right, where's my Parabola charge? Let's restore some health while we're doing this. That is such a broken weapon, I love it. I'm pretty sure we did, yeah. of that ATV section. It's really nice to have, like, a weapon that is just, like, almost a dedicated boss killer. Are we already at the Wily Reef fights? I, I do indeed have an ice cream sundae. You missed the best robot master. Okay, this is Traction Woman. What was her weakness again? It wasn't the data charge, was it? Or the data spiral? I think it was. Okay, that was definitely her weakness. For him, it was the Parabola. Oh yeah, it's definitely the Parabola charge for him. That was Creamery, man. No, 
it's not that for her. What, what was it for her? It wasn't the sickle, was it? Sickle's sure doing a hell of a lot of work on her, though. It's hard to tell what's a boss weakness and what isn't because the weapons in this are just so damn good. Like, I genuinely don't think that his weakness is this. And that's doing a pretty decent amount of damage in and of itself. It's really hard to get a grip on what is a weakness and what isn't. I, that's highly possible, yeah, like... Okay, it's definitely not that for her. Definitely not that for her. That's an okay weakness, but I don't think that's her weakness. Uh, the Inferno, did I...? That was the last one. Oh, that's the weakness right there. I don't know how, like, oh, sh she was in a plant-based stage, so I guess that makes sense. And then here's where the ice cream shines. Ice creamed Chimera. Uh, it was it was a generic shield weapon, even though the boss itself doesn't give you a shield weapon. Oh, I can angle those. All right, who is Sheep Man supposedly? That's not good. Am I gonna start there whenever we get back here, or how's that gonna work? Uh-oh. Okay, can I just... Okay, yeah. That does a fair enough amount of damage just in and of itself. might have to do some experimentation here because Oh yeah, that is 100% sheep man. an E-Tank yet, and that's definitely not doing it. That is a hard attack to deal with. I might have to do the boss refight again, that's whatever. Get out, ye oldy boss killer. Yeah, 
ATV overpowered. I literally just skipped through all of that. out of here, ice cream devil. Alright, time to completely not remember these weaknesses again. I was kind of hoping that you could change the trajectory on the parabola, but you can't. Oh my god, the drift... The spin drift is... her weakness? Okay, that's actually kind of cool. Um... That's not cool. So, she actually takes the full damage value of the weakness of the spin drift with just the buster shot. So that's cool. I think so anyway, let me just... Oh, no, she's just weak against the buster is all it is. too long to cut and paste in one go. Basically, computer program fucked up. Sheep man, he wants to conquer the world. Zawarido. Why dodge attacks? Yep, whenever the, uh, par the parabola charge hits an enemy, it restores health to me. That is 100% her weakness. It completely eats her attacks. she wouldn't open up with that as often because I have to basically like sit here and wait Let's see if it's the soft serve seeker for this. Nope, the soft serve seeker doesn't even touch it. I don't think that the spiral was doing a lot of damage. This would be a silly one. Oh my god, that is the weakness? Oh my fucking god. That is amazing. I never would have thought of that. Alright, let's restore our health. Uh oh. Not weak against that data spiral. Um, uh, Inferno? Nope. Oh 
man, I don't want to use my E-Tank. I know this isn't the end. Not that. Okay, so teleport charge is actually a weapon that I can use against. Hmm. I think the slicer was doing the most damage, so after this form, I'm going to use the slicer. The sickle, rather. Sheep man. Wait, is that that's seriously it? No Wily this time? Well, I can skip through the credits on this. Well, that was an abrupt ending to this, like... Very, very approachable mod, like, or a fan game. I keep calling it a mod. Um, very approachable fan game. Um, not too difficult. Good weapon selection, great music. Good presentation, nice enemies and whatnot. Little bit on the easy side, but... You know, that's, again, it's fine. Like, not every game has to be, you know, like, overly, like, crazy and insane on difficulty. Like, I've tried a couple of those before, and man, like, whew. All right, let's see if there's anything extra before I completely... Do I unlock, like, a new game plus, or...? Well, it says normal mode on there. Is there a different mode now? Oh, also, apparently my screen is, uh, not quite visible. So let me go back here. There we go. It got off of, uh, full screen, apparently. Whoops. Wait a minute. I have all my weapons already with this. Is this like New Game Plus or...? Or is this just like a mistake in the programming? Okay, it was just a mistake with the save file, is what it was. You can exit the stages right out the gate, so that's cool. Let's go back into... Yeah, that is absolutely a glitch. Yeah, I don't think that there's any other game modes on here, either. So whenever I start a new save file, that's what hits the, um... You know, that's what hits right here, so... Alright, well... I guess that's it. Didn't expect to beat this in an hour, so... <laughs> Well, 
I guess not every stream is going to be two hours whenever I do it, so. Sit here and hang out and chat for just a second before ending the stream. I'm not sure how I feel about that twist, though. Like, no, don't. Please, no. I, I've completed that game for my channel. I don't want to touch it again. I'm also glad that I completed X7 already, so I never have to touch that one ever again. I still have nightmares thinking about that one. Uh, yep, I was able to get to the end of it. Um, basically, like, the last thing that I showed off in that one was, um, basically, the game is so buggy that you can make Zero invincible by doing a specific um, input on a, like, collapsible ledge. And then I unbroke it without realizing it, so I had to redo the final boss again. So the next game I'm going to be uh, tackling is Mega Man and Base. Because I don't hate myself enough yet. I've actually been doing runs of that in my uh, free time, trying to get prepared for that run. I think I'm going to make it look easier than the game actually is at this point, but... I don't know, like, let's let's get to that game and then we'll talk about it. But for right now, I'll see you guys later. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and you know, catch you guys next time.